Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about barrier processes. Now we've discussed barriers in the past in, in uh, numerous videos, but I want to give you an idea about the process that uh, goes through that we go through as engineers when we design a barrier. Let's start with the definition. What is a barrier? A barrier is a partition that's between us and the noise source. It can be anything. It can be, the noise source can be anything. It can be uh, someone playing their stereo uh, loud and you're in the next apartment. So the barrier is the existing wall. Now it may not be a very good barrier because you're not very happy with the noise level. Well, okay, so how do we work with that? So it is a structure that we place between a source and a receiver. Okay, here's the key we have to keep in mind. Here's why people get all mixed up on this. There is no one structure that works for every situation. There are types and there are certain uh, construction methods that you use for certain frequencies, but it is always dependent on what frequencies you're trying to isolate from. If a person's singing in a room, or a garbage truck is driving by completely different amplitudes, completely different frequencies. A singer would never be able to get down to 40 hertz, but a garbage truck does. And you can tell that by all the car alarms that go off when they drive down the street. That's a huge wave of energy, and the car alarms are sensitive to vibration. So this huge 40 cycle wave strikes the car when the garbage truck goes by and off goes the alarms. In Los, uh, excuse me, in Los Angeles, in our studio there, we don't do anything from a recording standpoint on Thursday morning because the area is full of garbage trucks. And we just minimize that kind of uh, energy and stuff for videos and things like that because it's just too much. It's too much energy to have to deal with, and it doesn't happen that often. So we don't want to build barriers to deal with one couple hours of one day's activity. So... It's all, always a cost thing. So what are we trying to do with our barriers? We have to realize that three things happen. We have reflected energy, transmission, and absorption. So some of the energy that strikes our barrier is reflected back. Some of it goes through, through a process called transmission, and then some of it is absorbed. Okay, so we have three things that the barrier must do. Reflection, transmission, and absorption. Let's try to get a feel through example of what some of this barrier technology is up to. Let's take granite, a granite slab. A granite slab will reflect 99% of the energy that strikes it. That's why your barriers that must stop low frequency energies have huge mass and huge densities, and granite is very, very heavy. So a granite slab will reflect 99% of the energy going uh, against it. What is the characteristics that we look for in our barriers? Stiffness and density. Those are the two variables that we have to deal with, especially when we're dealing with low frequencies. Frequencies below 125, remember from past videos, those are the hardest. That is the thickest barrier, the most expensive barrier, multiple layers, different densities, different construction methodology, so a lot of things have to go on below 125 cycles. Above 125 cycles, the common one you see in all the literature is the double 2x4 drywall, okay, with a little airspace. There's much better ways to do it these days, but that's the most common that we see in the literature. Here's another example. Sand, lots of mass, but not stiff. So we need stiffness and density. We have a formula we use in all our studio build. It's called rigidity flexibility. So the, the shell of our rooms, the outside wall, and then we have the inside treatment room. So we really have the two rooms. This is our shell. And we go even farther in this relationship. We take the interior treatment room and we make sure that the stiffness of the shell and the flexibility of the treatment follow a ratio. It's a ratio we've developed that's really compatible with music and voice. And like all our technologies, they're all designed around music and voice, nothing else. That's exactly what they're designed to do. So 
We even carry this one step farther and match the shell. If your shell is poured concrete, then you must have a particular, that's very rigid, very stiff, very dense. So we must have a treatment room inside of it that moves, that's flexible. I mean, it doesn't physically move, but it gives and takes and gets back into its original form quickly because that's important to music. It's important to time signature on the reflections. It's important to room modal structure. There's a whole host of variables that's important to. So what are we doing with this? We're maximizing absorption and reflection with our barrier. And then here's a term that you see a lot, sound insulation. When you see this term, it does usually prepare, uh, it usually uh, relates to variables, but it's material that stops the actual transmission through the structure, okay, through the materials. So keep this in mind, stiffness, rigidity are your key factors in any barrier. Quantifying and qualifying the frequencies and amplitudes that you're dealing with, and the only way to do this is to measure it over seven days. Three measurements a day over seven days, then we get an average of what we're up against, and then we build the barrier to suit the numbers, not the other way around. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. And if you could give us a thumbs up for our Facebook page, that would really be helpful to us. Our room form uh, gives us all the information about your room, length, width, height, usage, and we need you to fill that out before you send it in. Those of you that just found us on the internet and are under a time crunch, you can go to the contact section of our website and there's a book now button so you can book a appointment with us but make sure I have your uh, room form to go on with it. The ebook series that we have is free. Please subscribe to that. There's exclusive videos in there so you can get a, an idea of uh, you, your particular situation possibly with the videos. And then our forum. We have a forum on our website. There's a lot of forums out there on the internet. Our forum will, will all actually answer your questions and, and comments so you'll be dealing directly with me through our forum. So once again, thank you for your support.